Hey, welcome back to my Minecraft 1.7.10 plus series. We are in Middle Earth right now. Um, so I think today what we're going to do is we're going to do a, a Lord of the Rings kind of day. Um, what we'll do is we're going to go and try and find um, this dwarf. He just actually appeared here somewhere around here looking to sell stuff. So we're going to find him first and see if we can actually trade some stuff with him. And then I think we are going to head out west um, and see if we can open up some more areas that we can explore. Uh, I'm going to leave this harvesting these trees and stuff till off camera um, so we can gather some more materials for doing different things around in the Shire, finishing up some missions here. I think we've finished all our quests that we need to do here, um, but we're going to save that for off camera. And we're going to find this dwarf first. He's here somewhere. Just said he arrived in the area as soon as I came into Middle Earth. So he should be here somewhere. Generally when you go into a new area in Middle Earth, a dwarf will show up somewhere. Those guys are bounders. We're looking for a guy that's a dwarf that's got coins in his hand. Hmm. I don't see any dwarves anywhere. That's not those aren't dwarves, those are hobbits. Um interesting. Okay, he's gotta be here somewhere. Maybe he's over the hill behind my house. Maybe. So well, we're going to do a little traveling today. We're going to go out west, um, open up some areas, and then when we're going to, before we finish off um, today's sort of quests, I guess you could call it, I want to do, I want to build a uh, greenhouse for my um, crops that I want to grow here. I want to grow some, oh, they're there. I want to grow some pipeweed and stuff that we can sell to the hobbits. So I want to build a greenhouse for that. The reason why I want to build a greenhouse is the rabbits here will eat your crops. So, and they spawn all the time. Is this the guy? He's got the, got the coin. Hey, buddy, what's up? Let's trade with you. What do you got for me? So you want opals, bronze, and iron, cooked mutton, cooked rabbit, coal. Eh. So what do you got for, as what, far as weapons go here? Big Dwarven Hammer, plus 10 damage. Uh, long Blue Dwarven Axe, got longer melee range. What's this? Light, lasting Blue Dwarven Spear, I think you can throw these guys. What's this? A barrel for Dwarven Ale, 141, wow. You can buy Dwarven Ale. What's this? Dwarven Marriage Ring, no. Amethyst, no. Let's see if we got some opal in our back here, in our pack here. We don't have any opals. Unfortunately, I don't think, buddy. Sorry, there's nothing really I want. If you had armor, I would buy it off you, but we don't really have any armor, so I think we're gonna leave it there. I don't think we're gonna buy anything from you today. So let's go get some food. We were cooking up some food last time. It's a shame we couldn't get anything from that guy, but so be it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the map and we're gonna teleport to the edge of the Shire and get started on our journey out of here. Okay, so let's go back. Our food's in here. Uh, were we cooking it up in here? I can't remember now. It's been a while since I played here. Okay, so nothing there. So we've got bread. We're going to use bread, I think. Um, we're going to save our other stuff for, for quests and that. Let's just grab a bunch. I think 41's probably plenty. And there's a couple things we're going to need to look for. So let's go to the map real quick here. There we go home key, right, I changed it. Okay, so we're going to go to Green Home. You just, all you have to do is click on it, and then you'll notice down here, press I to fast travel. So we're just going to press I and head off there. You've got 10 seconds to wait. So that's if, you know, you're in combat. Um, if you actually move off the spot that you're on, like if you get hit and move, you can't actually fast travel, so you can't bail out of combat, which I think is a good system to have. So the more times you travel to a certain place, now I've got a half an hour of real-time um, time that I need to wait before I can transport back to my home if I want to, um, which I think is good. But the more you travel, so we're headed west here. So the more you travel, the more that timer will drop. So it drops by a certain amount every time you make a, a, uh, a teleport there, which is also good too. So the more times you go out and explore and come back to your home, the faster it's going to be to be able to travel back to your home which is great. And I, I, that's one of the things I really like. So it's not very far to the border here, out of here. Let's let, let a little bit of this load. So we're going to look for, while we're going, we don't have a lot of backpack space. So we can't carry a lot of stuff with us. But what we're going to look for is 
Um, since a lot of the materials that are here, Gerwin the Oddmech Collector is nearby. You really want to talk to that guy though? He really doesn't have a lot. He's like looking for conkers and things like that, which are like acorns that fall off, off of the uh, trees here. Um, so we're going to forget him for now. So um, traveling out here west, uh, one of the things that we're going to be able to find rare items in is the Thomcraft trees that have the spiders in them with the chests. Uh, and you can see right here with the change in brick on the road, this is the change right here. We'll be entering a new area, the Kindly West. All right, so now we're into a new location. So we're going to set M here. We'll see where we are. Oops, i got to remember not to do that. H for home. So if we zoom back now, you'll notice here, Greenway Crossroads is now opened up. Forsaken Inn is now opened up. Fornos is opened up. North Downs is opened up. And Umanas is now opened up. Uh, so we can travel to these places, but we still have to wait a half an hour before we can. Tharbad is opened up, so we've got the ability to travel South Downs um, at least closer to areas that we want to go to. So once we move to the Forsaken Inn, we can go to Breland and open up all these guys. We can go to um, towards Weathertop and open up all the guys here. Then we have to go to kind of to the last bridge and head right to uh, to get to Rivendell if we want to go that way. Tharbad, if we cross the the border here, that'll give us the ability to get the Fords of Eisen, which can get us to Isengard and into Rohan. And opening up Rohan will then get us the ability to come down to here um, and go across the bridge into Gondor, uh, which is basically most of this stuff down here. So, and then each area in Gondor has got its own little bit. So there's a lot of, oh, I just heard an orc. Just heard an orc here somewhere. Get my trusty dwarven axe out. Yeah, he's underground probably. I don't hear, I hear him down there. But as soon as you leave the Shire, now all of a sudden you have to start worrying about being attacked by people. So you just got to keep your eyes open. And this is pear tree, which we have. Um, I, think, I think we pretty much got all the trees. I don't think there's really... Oh, we need cherry trees. So if we find a cherry tree, we'll take uh, some saplings back with us. Um, so I'm just going to plotter along here. When I find something interesting, I'll come back. Um, but right now, I'm going to... i got to make my way... Um, See, we've been going for a little bit. i got to make my way across the far downs here to here, this area right here. And then, or maybe I think I have to make it all the way here before the Elven area opens up. But uh, I'll go along here as far as I can um, before we get our fast travel back. And then if anything interesting comes up, I'll come back. But then, uh, you know, if not, then we'll see you. When we, oh, there, there's um, some, what are they called again? Uh, Aurochs, I believe, yeah. You can get stake and hides off those guys. Um, but I'm not going to bother attacking because they can do some good damage. And I don't have any armor on, really. Uh, the one thing I did not bring, though, that I'm thinking about now is I didn't bring a bed. So if we find some sheep, we're going to have to get some wool as we go along. But you're going to find, like, if you're doing the Middle Earth, you're going to find little standing stones like this sticking around. Um, some of them might have treasure in them. Others don't. I don't generally check them all. But if you dig through some of them, you might find some treasure in the, on the bottom of it. But... Uh, for the most part, it's not in everything. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go off camera for a bit. And when I find something interesting, I'll come back. And uh, hopefully we can uh, check that out. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I've made it out of the far downs here. We're still heading towards the Tower Hills. Um, this hasn't opened up anything new here. Oh, well, Erin Vorn is open. I don't know if that was open before, but um, this is where the Woes Wood is. Um, so we're going to head over to this tree over here. This is one of those thumb crab trees that have a spider spawner in the bottom. So we're hopefully going to be able to take out the spider spawner before it spawns a spider and grab the treasure that's in the tree here. Now this is the only way to really get ender pearls and stuff here because of course endermen and stuff don't spawn and I don't think we made it, did we? Maybe, maybe, maybe. We did, uh, almost. Also, if you need to get spider eyes, um, this is one of a, a good way to do it. So we got some string. We know we can sell the string. Uh, I think the elves want that as part of their quest. So yeah, so we can pick up a pick up a bunch of good stuff here. So nether quartz, if we need it here, there's some tin ingots for industrial craft, which we don't really need, so we're going to leave it off. These are scrolls that we haven't gotten yet. Ender lilies, nether quartz. This is the only way to get this stuff while you're here. Uh, so the ender lilies are good because we can just grow our own ender pearls here. But it's hard to find, you know, a lot of stuff here um, in comparison to the overworld. So, I mean, you can bring it from the overworld if you want. There's no, there's nothing that says you can't. 
Uh, I just like to play the game where uh, I try to stay within Middle Earth, so Middle Earth lore. Now the sun is going down. The sunset and rise here is a lot slower than in the regular world, uh, in the overworld. Um, so you don't really have to worry too much about how long the days are here. You can go for quite a while, um, which is great. And then um, the other thing too is uh, if you've just if you're just playing the Lord of the Rings mod, your food saturation is a lot better because of the longer days. You don't have to eat as much. Um, so and I'm not sure how that's affected the 1710 pack. I think it's pretty much the same, although it's hard to tell. Oh, there's an encampment up here. Now, I don't know if this, this looks like it might be in an orc encampment. Yeah, so now if you're on the orc side, you can go up to this guy and trade with him. Uh, we're going to kill him, though. So what I want to do, though, is make a workbench because nighttime is coming. And if we don't sleep, what will happen is we'll get overrun by orcs. So we are going to make a bed real quick. And I am going to leave this piece of wood and the workbench behind because I don't want to have to carry on extra stuff with me. We're going for a long journey here. So let's just put some stuff away. I picked up a couple of other things. Uh, we don't need this. Mm, hold, on to hold on to those. I, picked, I killed a couple of um, deer while I was uh, running around. Uh, hang on to the elderberry, er, elderberries. We'll probably eat those. I don't think we have elderberry bushes back at home, so I picked up a couple of those while we were out. Um, so let's do this. Let's just wait for the morning. The other thing too is uh, four-leaf clovers don't only spawn in the Shire. Clovers spawn pretty much everywhere. So if you want to make some half-decent coin, just keep your eyes open. I think you can get about 40 to 45, I think, um, silver pieces for those in the Shire if you find the right inn. So it's an easy way to make money if you find four-leaf clovers. You can, I mean, you can search all of the Shire for them too if you want, but uh, it's nice if you're running and you don't have to watch out for anything, just to keep your head down and see if you can find there's more deer over there. Probably get those later too. Um, so let's sleep here. Now I'm going to leave my bed here because I don't know if I can kill this guy straight out and stay alive. So he's, they've, there's a few chests here. He won't attack you until we start getting negative reputation with these guys, which is going to be right now. So th you can see they've got quite a few hit points. And you can pick up some stuff from them. So we got these torches here. If you like them, you can take them back. Kind of like tiki torches. Maggoty bread, we don't really want that. Orc bone, we don't really need that. Rotten flesh, we don't really need that. Um, the orc bones can be used, if you're on the bad guy's side, they can be used for certain recipes and stuff. Or you can just turn them into um, regular bone meal, but we don't really need those right now. So this workbench here we can't actually use. Um, you need gun to bad alignment to be able to use it, and you can make some spe gun to bad specific items. But like I said, we don't really have relationship with them, so we're not going to bother. But this, we can't use either. Orc forge, you have to have a relationship with them. But we're going to take it with us because it's cool looking. Did I just hear another guy? Anyways, this shows where the guy has died, and he will respawn at some point. Um, so if you're playing faction, then, you know, there's a chance they can respawn. We don't really need this book, so we'll leave it there. I'm only taking this Orc Forge for show. We can ditch it later. Water skins, don't need those right now. We're going to go check that tree out here in a second. I want to get 12 of these torches, so bing and bing. Just going to use them for decoration later on. So two orc steel English. We can't actually make anything with orc steel, but we can take those back with me anyway. Um, so let's drop them in here. Just going to take this stuff with us. And we're going to go over and check that tree out. Now I guess I, I should have probably cut the string off of that last tree, or the last um, thumbcraft tree that we were on, just to have more string with me. But we can make regular backpacks. Ow. Oh yeah, I forgot about these thistles. We can make a regular backpack. You need boots or leg leggings to go over those without actually taking any kind of damage. But we can make regular backpacks here if we want to. I'm just trying to stay with the lore, so we're just going to go with the regular backpacks that we can get from here. Sometimes you can get them from quests, other times you can find them in houses. Uh, we don't really need the copper or the tin, we don't need iridium ore, so there's nothing in here we can really use. Um, now the reason why I'm not taking the copper and stuff is because while we can make overworld 
stuff. You can't really make anything Middle Earth related here. Well, that's interesting. Uh, we can't make anything Middle Earth related here, so we're not going to bother. I can't reach that guy. We can get this one though. We have to use the Middle Earth um, stuff here. So all the copper and there's another tree over there. Another copper, like the copper and um, oh, I want to check those out in a minute too. Oh, so the copper and tin from here we can make bronze and bronze items, but I'm trying to save that kind of stuff until we get forges so I can make like elven armor or dwarven armor or whatever. Um, so we're just going to save all our materials for that. So let's go check this tree out. Ah, spider. Damn it. Fighting with the wrong axe here. Take those two. Let's hope we can get this done here fast. Oh, it's on the outside. All right, what do we got? Amber, we don't need. Iridium shard. Thorns, we don't need. Mana in a bottle. Ah, uh, God. Well, that's valuable. We don't. We're not really going to be using it here at all. So, but we'll take it with us. Usually, I say once we have a um, ender chest that we're allowed to transfer items back and forth. So, if I find any rare items here that I can use in the overworld, I can transport transport them back. I just picked up all the crap that I didn't want. So let's drop it all in here. Ow. Oh. So there's really only a few things here that we might be able to use in the overworld. If we get an abundance of diamonds here, um, which is unlikely, but we might get some from these these chests here, um, then we can send those back to the overworld. Um, the other things that would be we would send back would be like um, Certus Quartz maybe, or Charged Certus Quartz if we don't have any, we haven't gotten any in the overworld yet. That's the kind of stuff I would send back. Oh man, I really need to get boots. So this is a tower with rangers. And these guys don't have anything to trade. Um, we need to get better faction with them, but you can hire these guys at some point. Uh, let's get up here. I'm gonna keep going up. Can we get up? Yeah, here we go. Come on, there we go. There's another guy, still can't trade with them yet. You need to have good faction. You can do that by killing orcs for them, but there's a chest up here. Eh, not a lot. Sticks and iron. We're going to leave it. It's not really ours anyway. Um, but you can hire rangers and that. And these guys will fight. So if there's orcs here and you're out at night, you can come over here and these guys will fight the orcs, which will help out. So up here, sometimes... Ah, oh man, really? Sometimes you can find on the tops of these abandoned structures, you can find chests and stuff to find that might have good stuff in it. So let's just take this and put it here. Let's go up here. Um, what's the, is there an easy way in here? There isn't. So let's just take this out of here. And, yeah, let's just go up, take a look. Yeah, no chest in this one, so, out of luck. It's not guaranteed to be one. Now this one here, um, one of the things we have to worry about in some of these buildings, um, is you can sometimes run into bandits. And you'll notice because there'll be a little thing in the bottom corner that'll say, hey, you know, average dad, why are you here? Whatever it is. And um, silver we can use. Take the bones. Bottle of poison. Ale horn. And they'll say, hey, average dad, you come to the wrong place. And these bandits will try and attack you. Now, if they get close to you, um, they can steal your stuff. They'll steal your backpacks. They'll steal pretty much whatever they can get their hands on. So the goal is to like not let them get close to you either run away or kill them fast. If they do steal your stuff, you can track them down and kill them. Um, but if there's like two or three of them, they run off in different directions, so you have to decide who you're going after. So that's another orc encampment over there. Well, that could be a, um, a Gondorian encampment. So if you've... the orc encampment, if you have a bonus with the orcs, you can use their crafting table, and it's the same thing with the uh, men from Gondor. Note it's another orc. So this is, is this a Gundabad orc? What one is this? It's the same kind of guy? Yeah, this is a different one. So this is, um, there's different orc factions too, right? So there's Gundabad orcs, there's, um, Mordor orcs, there's, um, let me get this guy first. Yeah, this guy's a Gundabad. He's a sorcerer. 
So there's good and bad. There's like all different kinds of orcs. Let's see if there's anything good in here. Another orc steel will take that. I mean, we don't really need the orc steel. We can't really use it for anything. But if we decide sometime in the future to turn and become evil, uh, we can certainly do that. So you can find potions like this: plus 20% speed, plus 50% attack damage. Um, and anybody can use those. You don't you don't have to necessarily be an orc to use it. But I don't generally take the potions. And then this is another furnace. Once again, we're going to take it because it's kind of cool looking. And there's another abandoned building over here. I don't think this building actually has anything. Um, we'll go check that out. I'm still getting these ridiculous lag spikes, and I have no idea why this machine is ridiculously fast. Um, so I'm getting bad loading. Um, SSD, internal hard drive, I, I have no idea what's going on. It was actually faster on my old machine, which was slower than this, so... Um, another orc. We're not going to bother. It's going to keep going. I'm trying to get to the Elven Realm. Um, so let's have a quick look on the map here. Yeah, so we're like not even like a quarter of the way there. Well, about half the way from where we were. I'm hoping when we get to the Tower Hills, I think this becomes the Elven Land. So, um, yeah, so I'll come back once we get there. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I've come across a little well here on my travels and we're going to go down here because there's usually something buried at the bottom of this well down here so I'm just going to head down real quick see what we can find so I'm thinking yeah there's a chest right there, a Condorian chest so we are going to open this sucker up, what do we got here two ceramic mugs, bottle of poison which we can take, some bones, eh not a lot but we're going to take this chest because it's cool looking. And then we're going to ditch all the stuff down here that we don't need. That, that, that. Eh. If you want to read all these books, they've done a really great job of um, adding a whole bunch of books as well, which are kind of lore specific to Middle Earth. So, um, yeah, feel free and go ahead and read those. Um, I read a bunch of them. They're actually pretty good. So it's a little better than the regular... Um, books that you can get in Minecraft. I mean, the books in Minecraft are okay, um, but uh, it's nice to have some stuff that's like lore specific here. Alright, let's check this real quick. Beat that spider out. Okay, some string. Nice. Ender pearls. Perfect. That's one thing we need. And safari net. Dark steel we can use too. So, let's orc steel. Alright, so let's use these guys, and we're going to cut some of the string here. And I think there's another one over here somewhere that we could possibly reach. Not from here, but maybe from here. There we go. So the elves will trade for string, which is nice. Um, so if we don't already have any other use for string here, definitely trading it to the elves is okay. Can we actually get up any... Oh, we can. I know I'm picking up lots of these leaves here, but we'll just ditch them here in a second. What are you hooked on to? Here? There we go. So let's ditch these. Let's ditch this. Let's put this stuff away in our bag here. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to keep moving. So I'll come back in a second. I didn't get very far from where I uh, signed off last time. But um, let's leave this out. We might be able to use that for something. And, yeah, back in a minute. All right, so I was just running along this pathway here. Um, you can see that they the game will generate huge trees which is awesome the biomes are pretty much um, Lord of the Rings specific biomes which is excellent uh, it will make bridges over water and everything too along the roads but I've come across an orc over here and I don't know usually they travel in packs of four so I'm concerned that there's more than one he's right behind here here he is he's got a crossbow too alright so you can see every time you kill him, it tells you what you get. Oh, we got pants here too. Excellent. So we got crossbow bolt. Uh, we picked up some cranberry bushes. We don't need work bones. So we're going to throw those away. We don't need the rotten flesh. But crossbow bolts we can hang on to. So if we make a crossbow, we can use the uh, bolts for that. Anyways, so uh, yeah, I'll be back in a few minutes. you got to be careful when you're walking outside of the Shire. Because like I said, you can encounter guys anywhere at any time. And it can be bands of orcs. There's also warbands too. If we come across a warband, I'll uh, come back. 
Okay, we're back. We're right at the edge of the Elven Realm. You can tell by the uh, Gondorians up here. So we're going to find a bunch of different people. Uh, we'll find Elves and... Oh, these are the Elves, sorry. Hey, Maravanen. So we've got some Elves here. Uh, and they'll have quests and stuff you can do. Um, but now we're in the Elven Realms, which is great. So it's a little safer. We'll also find Rangers here as well. And that's one thing that we're looking for right down there. And I think those are Athelus plants. So Athelus plants will give you, a, I believe, the ability to make, uh, yes, um, healing potions, which is great. So it's King's Foil. Aye, it's a weed. So you got to keep your eyes open for these guys too, because definitely handy to have healing potions. So hang on to those. Um, oh, by the way, the birds too, if you have stuff in your hands, they'll steal stuff out of your hands. So be careful. Um, okay, so we're going to keep going. Um, so this is a Gondorian camp up here. And there's another one right here. You'll find ranger camps just like you will um, the orc camps along the way. And uh, this guy will say, yeah, you need to have more... Um, um, uh, more faction uh, bonuses than we got right now. So let's go to the home screen. I'm going to go over to factions, and we're going to change to Dunedain of the North. So right now we are at 8 alert. Yeah, 8. So we're going to just leave that on there. So it'll change at the top. You can see how much you have with them. Um, so the more orcs and stuff you kill, the better off they're going to like you. Iron, we can take this stuff. I'm going to take the hardy ranger boots. I mean, really I shouldn't be taking them because they don't belong to me, but uh, I'm just doing it because we need boots. Oh, some arrows. Take those. We definitely need to get a bow. You can make normal bows here, um, but they're really not as powerful as like getting an elven bow or a ranger bow or something along that line. Um, so I just really haven't made a bow yet. Definitely will help you, especially um, when you're in the orc lands, when you encounter a whole bunch of orcs. Cook venison. Um, because you really want to um, be engaging them at long range before... Um, they get close to you, because if you get four or five guys on you, it can be a real nightmare. Okay, so that's good. We're going to keep moving. Um, I tried reducing my view distance from 16 down to 10 um, chunks, so I'm still getting a little bit of lag. Um, I could reduce it more, but you know, then you don't get the kind of full uh, view of the elven lands and everything else here. So, yeah, you can see the massive birch trees here. So we're going to keep going along. We're going to have, let's actually, let's, let's have a quick look at the map again. Um, so we've opened up a bunch of things, and we can actually fast travel again. So we've opened up uh, these towns here, which not really towns. You have a chance to find houses and stuff, but um, we've opened up pretty much all the elven lands around along here. Um, Irenborn is open, so that's pretty much it for this side. Now we, I'm going to move forward to here, um, and we're going to head over to the dwarven lands. I want to see if I can trade for some dwarf armor. Uh, the other thing, too, is to trade with the elves, but once we get there, we'll be able to meet up with a lot of elves, find some elven buildings, and hopefully be able to build what I want. My goal is, anyways, to have a, a working workbench and forges from all of the um, different uh, f good factions, so the dwarves, the hobbits, the different uh, types of elves, so we, uh, the, the Gondorians, things like that. So we're going to have... Um, something going for everybody. This is just loading here. Just give it a second. Because it's all custom biomes and stuff, I don't know. I don't know what that's why it's slow or just um, just in general that it's a uh, very, very large mod. Uh, that could be it too. But we're not going to do any quests here for the elves right away unless it's something really, really easy like collecting wood or you know venison or something like that. So I'll be back when I find some elven buildings, and uh, we'll check those out. Okay, so as I was wandering through the elven woods here, I found this big crevice and decided to come down. So this is kind of one of the things I was looking for. This is sort of the, uh, the one of the crit items for the elven uh, um, building stuff. It's El Edhelmir. I can't even pronounce it properly. Um, but um, you can find that in uh, the elven lands. And... Like I said, it's a crit item for making certain elven uh, gear. So it's always good to try to look around for that when you're down here. 
when you're in the elven lands. If you find a crevice or whatever, just feel free to go in and check it out because you'll sometimes find some some stuff like that that you can actually use for um, building objects and stuff for the different uh, races. So yeah, so I'm going to go off camera again uh, while I search around here to see if I can find some more. And I'll be back in a second. Oh, wait a minute. That is charged Certus Quartz, and we need that in the other realm. So we're going to need to go up there and grab that. And now that I've got Ender Pearls, I think we can make a Ender Chest. So let's grab this while we're here. Excellent. Okay, so that's good. Not that it's really part of this mod, but uh, this is what we need definitely in um, in the other in the overworld for sure to make uh, our um, ME system which is one of the things we want need to be need to make very soon there so we can get all our um, all our storage into one basic spot it makes it a lot easier to keep everything so I'll be back in a second once again like I said oh yeah by the way if you look at the Sun it blinds you which is kind of cool I'm assuming if you're playing a bad guy's side, you might uh, actually be a little worse. I don't know, think it is, but it'd be kind of cool if it was. Okay, so I'll be back in a second, and hopefully we find a few elven buildings around here. And no sooner did I say hopefully we find a few elven buildings around here, I turn around, and sure enough, there's one right there. So we're just going to go over there. This is, I think, is just an elven house. Looks like it. Now, once again, I mean, you can still... Oh, it's a... Uh, meeting area it looks like. Now you can steal stuff from here if you want. Um, they're not going to do anything uh, but one thing you would do want to do is get in on their linden crafting table so you can make like linden items. Now I'm thinking uh, you can't break up stuff normally in there. I think this is just for wood if I'm correct. Yes so the linden crafting table is for wood. So now we've got that. That's just excellent which, which means we can make the uh, for elven forge and everything. So what does this guy want? Collect two opal. Now I don't think we have any opals, do we? No, we don't. Oh well. Would have been nice, but we don't have them. Um, there's usually a chest around here somewhere too. Here it is. Any opals in there? No. Linden long spear, linden bow. You can see here that the draw speed is 125%. Range damage 125%. Range 150, which means you can shoot a lot farther. Now the small pouches in here. I am going to take that. Um, only because it's so rare to find pouches. I'm just going to expand this guy. Um, that whenever you find one, it's a good idea just to take it. Um, that I normally don't feel that bad about. Um, I wish you could actually make them, but unfortunately that's not the case. And let's get this guy. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. I'm trying to find an elven forge. It'd be nice to find one. Um, not that we actually need one right now, but the, the guys there actually have some half-decent stuff to trade. So I'm going to look at the map real quick, see if we can see anything around here. So that's one building. I'm gonna, yeah, here's another building down here. So I'm going to go down south, I think, a little bit. I'm kind of on my way to, um, on my way to the uh, Dwarven area here. It takes a little while to get there, the Blue Mountains. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to head south and see what's in that house. Um, I wonder if there's um, any quests over here for these guys. Sometimes you can find easy ones, like it's like you know, give me birch saplings or collect some roses or something like that. Different kinds of flowers, and then there's like, you know, collect certain types of wood and stuff. Um, the one thing to keep in mind, though, is if, for instance, you find an overworld um, Thomcraft node here, and it's um, a tainted node or whatever. Uh, or a sinister note and it's spawning zombies. These guys won't fight the zombies and the zombies will ignore them. So you'll be the only target. Just keep that in mind. And the guards here won't actually help you. They don't actually see the, those other guys in any kind of faction. So, But um, you can find like armor on the walls here, swords, all kinds of stuff. You know, if you want to take them, uh, I, mean, you, I guess you could, but uh, it's kind of stealing. But, you know, he says as he takes the... Uh, um, stuff from the other guys takes the pouch, but you can build individual beds. Like they've got different types of beds for each faction, Sh different types of chandeliers. It's all kind of it's really cool. Different kinds of brick which you need to use um, their individual crafting tables for. 
So let's have a look at the map if we can find anything else. Doesn't look like it. I'm going to have a look at this crevice and then uh, continue heading towards the dwarves. If I find anything interesting or if I find a, um, a forge somewhere around here, oh, which is right there. Once I get over there, I'll come back and I'll show you what that's like. So I'll be back in a second. Yes, I was incorrect about that uh, place we were headed to. That's actually a uh, elven tower. So I was kind of hoping it wasn't, but uh, we picked up a few things when we were down there. Some copper, some tin, lots of iron. We're going to need iron and coal and stuff. We're going to make elven steel ingots once we find a uh, elven forge. And we're going to make ourselves some elven armor while we're here. Um, so we're going to go into here just to show you what it's like if you've never been in Middle Earth. This is kind of a cool looking tower. So this is the elven door. And then elven torches, which are really nice. Um, these are the high elven torches. So these towers go up, the stairs go all the way up to the top here. So they just curve up. You can find lots of gear up there. Sometimes you'll find soldiers. Um, I think you can actually hire elven soldiers up there once you have a high enough reputation with the elves. So that's all that is. I'm still looking for, let's just have a look at the map. Maybe we can find one here. Yeah, up here on the top left and one down here. So we're going to head, since we're heading in the up, upper uh, northwestern direction, we're going to head up to that one up there. Um, so these forges actually have a smith in it, an elven smith, and they sometimes have good trades. Um, but really what you want to use is the for elven forge itself. Um, you can make your own uh, elven forges, but since we're here, we're just going to go check it out. Now, the, really the big thing we want is the trades from these guys. So you can find some pretty good stuff. Sometimes you get some really excellent trades here. So let's check this guy out. Yeah, I am not uh, don't have enough uh, reputation with this guy yet. So, but here's the uh, Elven Forge, and, you know, they've got all kinds of stuff here. You can actually find other things in here as well, like Elven Steel Ingots. We can make those, though, with coal. So we're just going to make some here while we're here. So let's do this. So you can go, let's take 16 iron, and we're going to do this with the iron, and then we're going to take 16 coal and we're going to do this with the coal and then we're going to take one piece of coal and drop it in here and watch this this is why I love it. I mean Lord of the Rings mod is fantastic for this so it's basically doing four operations at a time and there's your elven steel right there so now we can make weapons and armor with elven steel just gonna wait for this to finish up I think we need a bit more than 16 but I'm just gonna run the 16 for now actually you know what let's just do let's do um, Let's do another 16. I think we can run... Yeah, I think you can do 8... If I'm thinking correctly, I think you can do 8 operations per slot. So you can cook 32 elven steel with one piece of coal. I think it works the same way with the dwarven stuff as well. So, and then these are like, you know, high elven wood bars. You can make different kinds of uh, wood items. Of course, all the stone here. Once you cook stone, you can turn it into this using the uh, crafting tables for this specific faction. So, but you can find quests that require you to make certain elven items. So it's nice to have some elven steel so and a crafting table so that we can actually do that while we're out. So let's cook these up and... Bing, Elven Steel, Achievement Get. So now I think, if I'm correct, should be able to make a set of Elven Armor. Now when you make the armor, there's a chance you can get bonuses and Enough stuff on it. So for instance, this one has got plus two versus projectiles. So it's nice to be able to get stuff that's actually got bonuses. So sometimes they can actually be um, negative as well. And tough one, plus one protection. Nice. So that's the leggings are plus one. We're going to put these in there. We're going to leave the leather and the hardy ranger boots behind. We're going to leave our dwarven helmet on, kind of like the dwarf helmet, uh, and the elven steel ingots. We're going to make a, I think, if I'm remembering correctly, I think we need, I think it's elven steel to make the elven bow, if I'm not mistaken. So if we go to the crafting table, I think we make an, an elven steel bow by doing this. Yes. So that's it. So there's the linden bow. Cool. So now we've got, uh, weak 0.75% range damage. So it's not really that great. I mean, we can make another one and try and make a better one. So you can see the range damage is 94% now. So what you can do, if you're crafty enough, 
do three of these. I'm going to need to find some flint and stuff to make arrows, but um, you can do this. Make another bow. And this one's just a normal bow, but if you mix them together, uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I thought you could. You can. And there's a possibility to get a better item. So this one's lasting now. So if you get a crappy bow, I mean, you can do this and try and make a better one, which in this case I did. I got lucky, but you could always make a worse one too, right? So you have to be careful with that. Um, so we're going to make our way out of here. We don't really have enough reputation with these guys yet. We'd have to do a lot of quests around here to get up enough rep to talk to this guy. I think we need 50 rep to talk to this guy, so doing quests around here um, would do that. But we're not currently looking for that. We're heading to the dwarves, so we're going to keep going there and... Uh, once we get there, I'll come back, unless I find something else interesting, but uh, we'll see.